Heart of the Matter is a story of two very different women and how their lives intersect after a split-second accident. Um, and uh, Tessa Rousseau is a stay-at-home mother of um, recently given up her career. She's um, two young children, and she's married to a very successful, handsome pediatric plastic surgeon. So by any measure, um, she seems to have a very idyllic life, at least from the outside. Uh, Valerie Anderson is um, is an attorney, and she's a single uh, mother to six-year-old Charlie, a little boy who has never known his father. And um, to a certain extent, Valerie has walled herself off from um, relationships um, because of many disappointments, um, and particularly romantic ones. And the story begins, it's told in alternating points of view between Valerie and Tessa's viewpoints, and it begins when um, Charlie is injured at a sleepover birthday party and rushed to the hospital, um, and Nick gets the page. Nick is, is um, Tessa's husband. He gets the page while he's at dinner celebrating their anniversary and goes to the hospital. And from there, um, two stories to converge. And the book is about motherhood and the mystery that is marriage, um, how it's very hard to understand someone else's marriage, what's going in inside another's relationship. And it's about um, the mistakes we make and uh, how um, we never really see ourselves as the villain in our own life story, um, despite how we sometimes can really hurt others. And um, it's about uh, judgment. Um, and how it's it's harder to find empathy for others. It's much easier to judge, and ultimately, it's about forgiveness. I have um, very enthusiastic readers, and I'm so grateful for them. Um, the enthusiasm that's coming along with the something borrowed being made into a movie has been so much fun. For example, and people do have very strong feelings. Um, there's a lot of uh, conversation on Facebook, for example, about the color of one actress's hair and how it does not jive with the description in the book. But um, you know, it's. I just think people get attached to these characters in the same way they're attached to, you know, friends and, and family and even the ones who are who are making um, poor decisions and mistakes and hurting others. I think the reader doesn't abandon them any more than they abandon the, the people in their own life who um, who screw things up.